Mortal Kombat Annihilation, is a 1997 martial arts fantasy film directed by John R. Leonetti and is the sequel to the 1995 film Mortal Kombat. While the first film was a commercial success and somewhat faithful to the popular video game series it was based on, Mortal Kombat Annihilation was widely criticized and often considered a disappointment to fans and critics alike. The film continues the story of the Earthrealm heroes as they face the outworld forces in the titular Mortal Kombat tournament. However, despite the noble intentions, it struggles to capture the magic of the first movie, offering a convoluted and messy plot with weaker character development, special effects, and fight scenes. The story picks up where the first film left off with Liu Kang, Robin Shu, Sonya Blade, Sandra Hess, and Johnny Cage, Chris Conrad, victorious in the Mortal Kombat tournament. Shao Kahn, Brian Thompson, the evil emperor of Outworld, is not pleased with this outcome. In a bid to conquer Earthrealm, he violates the Elder God's rules by merging Earthrealm and Outworld. The movie introduces a host of new characters, including Jade, Irina Panteva, Kitana's loyal friend who aids the Earthrealm warriors, and Nightwolf, Lightfoot, a Native American shaman who provides spiritual guidance. However, most of these new additions are underdeveloped and fail to resonate with the audience as much as the original characters did. As the worlds merge, the fate of Earthrealm hangs in the balance. Liu Kang, Sonya Blade, and their allies, along with Raiden, James Ramar, replacing Christopher Lambert from the first film, The God of Thunder, must prevent the merger of the two realms and defeat Shao Kahn and his loyal minions, including the fearsome cyborg Smoke, Sidney Swain, the shape-shifting reptilian villain Reptile, Lynn Red Williams, and the deadly warrior Mylena, Dana He. The film's plot is often criticized for its lack of coherence, with numerous subplots and characters that are not fully developed or integrated into the main story. The passing can be erratic, and the dialogue often comes across as cheesy and clichéd. The film's attempts at humor and character interactions don't match the charm of the first movie, leaving characters feeling one-dimensional. One of the most disappointing aspects of Mortal Kombat, Annihilation, is its fight scenes. While the first film had well-choreographed battles that captured the essence of the video game, the sequel's fights are often chaotic, poorly lit, and choreographed with a lack of finesse. The special effects, especially those related to the portrayal of the various supernatural powers and creatures, were considered subpar for the time, contributing to the film's overall negative reception. Despite its many flaws, Mortal Kombat Annihilation does have its moments. Some fans of the video game franchise may appreciate seeing additional characters from the game, and there are occasional glimpses of the fun and action that made the original film a cult classic. However, these moments are overshadowed by the film's shortcomings. In summary, Mortal Kombat Annihilation is a sequel that struggles to live up to the reputation of its predecessor. While it attempts to expand the Mortal Kombat universe and provide fans with more of the characters and action they love, it ultimately falls short due to a convoluted plot, underdeveloped characters, lackluster fight sequences, and subpar special effects. It remains a divisive entry in the world of video game adaptations in cinema.